There, guys, and welcome back to another episode here on our Let's Play series, Lumia. And I am excited to play some Minecraft today, guys. How about you? Yeah, I've got a few. Uh, I got a few things figured out that we're gonna do today, and uh, yeah, I'm excited. Come on, you know you're excited. You know you want to shake the Lucky Charminator at me. Come on. Charminator. Yeah, all right. Enough being silly. Okay. All right. So in this chest, I've got some supplies figured out, and this is hopefully one project of just a couple we're gonna do inside the house today. And uh, so our storage for our fishing farm was just kind of hanging down here, looking real janky and ugly, and. Uh, I don't know about you, but I can't have that. No. So, uh, before we get started, as you can see, I've kind of cleaned up some of the walls around here, polished up some things. So, uh, there's that. And uh, I've dug into the wall here and placed some chests down. And uh, just for a basic setup of storage here, I moved all of our previous items into these chests but that's kind of a problem because uh, I don't have my axe with me but we want to dig down here in just a minute and I'm gonna create uh, a garbage can with this cactus so let's uh oh come on there you go let's uh let's get this part going first so uh, we need our hoppers out and come down this line. Do I have any blocks? Uh, da, 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 no blocks. We use a chest, I guess. And come and stand right there. That can be our overflow. We want to take our blocks here. Guess we'll come out with all of them this way. I, I wasn't intending to sort all of these, but you do need to sort out at least the stackable, non stackable items from the system. And of course, all of these can just go in here. Like so. And we can get rid of this. Ow. Let me just put a barrier up here. <laughs> I'm going to fall back in that thing again. Um, so, yeah. See, items, when they come through, they'll come and try to go down first here. So, we want to put a... A sorter like that in and we only need we only need it to uh, okay Yeah, we only need it to uh, pull out non-stackable items, so this should do the trick here. Um, I'm not sure if this makes any sense to you guys, but those of you that may know some redstone know what I'm talking about. 
There we go. So I think I want to take in. Yeah, you can't fill that in there, can you? fill in blocks there at that level and I think I'll just make some stone brick stairs and yes I know there was a crafting bench above my head uh, that's why they were supposed to be there in the first place but you forget Actually, we could probably, ah, fill in that hole again. We could probably be real cool and, can I? No, nah, there's not enough room. Let's fill this in. there and then I guess we just need to do this number anyways and it's just gonna be all stone brick stairs there <laughs> um, yeah that looks better than if I'd have went flush with the with the post here um, so what we're going to end up doing is having a ceiling that drops down at this level. What do we want to do that out of? I think we're going to want to do that out of cobblestone, maybe. Ceiling like that. I don't know, I haven't made that decision yet. Uh, I think for now we're going to leave it as is. And uh, we can take some of the items from this chest and then put them here and see where they end up. I just put my good bow in that system. See where all these items end up. Okay, so we need to uh, I'm gonna make this chest for my inventory at the moment. Clear it out. those two items because I gotta move all of these things and uh, I guess I'll uh, cut the video here while I'm doing this and I will catch back up with you here in a minute Alright guys, so, you know, before you get too carried away with the comments that, uh, hey, you did this wrong, um, yeah, I figured that out. <laughs> yeah, I needed to move the sorter up one set of hoppers. That's okay, mistakes are made at times, uh, things happen, so, yeah, got that problem taken care of, and I do want to pop up here and see why these are on. I guess these are the fish traveling through to, ooh, well that doesn't work, does it? Kind of 
got to have your comparator face the right direction. All right. Yep, so now all I need to do is transfer the items again. And so uh, now that I've showed you the correction that I've made, I'm going to cut back out and start moving these items again so we can get some more done during the episode. All right, catch back up with you guys soon. See ya. All right, guys, we got all those tests moved, and I'm going to dig a hole down here and get this set up. Okay, so I think the best bet is just to go ahead and dig down. Our chest is going to be here, so we want to put our dropper. Okay, so chest, hopper at this level, and dropper here. So we're going to want to go down one more. And I don't have the dropper on me. So let's get rid of this block here for now. Get our materials. Uh, I gotta have another hopper. I used it for the for the uh the chest there for the overflow um, yeah you, that hopper there uh, is the one that I used that's where a chest will be going for the overflow so we'll run up here and get a little more iron I think I got enough to make another hopper <coughs> yeah. Need five pieces so we can craft this puppy on camera, no problem. All right, now we're back in business. Mm -hmm. Let's get our dropper out. Good job. Now we're going to want to clear. blocks here um, clear that out all right we should have a sand and a cactus good now we're gonna want to come out here like this and I'm going to need some headroom. Go out one more block. Alright, now we're going to need our comparator facing that direction with a repeater coming out of that. We're gonna need a repeater there and pull out our redstone dust and do that there. Everybody has you know, everybody has their own way of actually doing that. <laughs> uh, I've discovered and let's go ahead and drag that out. There's nothing wrong with either design they both work they both take up almost the same amount of room I just find that one easier to remember Let's fill that hole in Alright, what do we want to get rid of? Here we got a bunch of boots. And into oblivion you go. No more boots to be found. So we need to get an item frame with maybe a cactus on it, something named trash can. There we go. I think we got enough saddles. And 
and the reason you want a trash can here is because of all the trash you get from a fishing farm so if we can step over here and grab our trash out get rid of it it'll keep our system cleaned out and that's something that we're gonna have to do um, on a regular basis so and I have to remember that we have that overflow chest there, so. Got all the extra chest out of the way here, and all of a sudden it seems like this room has uh, been reclaimed. So we may have to come up with some decorative design. Uh, once I get the ceiling figured out here, uh, maybe some armor stands. Um, I'm not sure. I can't really go into that wall any. So um, I was considering the idea of bringing our smelter down here. And it looks like we've got an even number of blocks on this wall. One, two, three, four, five, six. So our smeltery, our small little mini smeltery, a uh, small mini super smeltery could uh, could fit nicely on this wall possibly and you could easily just come over here and grab your fish out and cook them up and run over here and grab all the cobble you want and cook it up and it's all right there close so and if you do it right I've got this entrance that used to come to the storage for the fishing farm we could actually uh, you know drop things off from up top without ever coming down here um, so everything seems to be coming together down here I really am enjoying this space um, I do want to do something with this wall still and I'm thinking about once we get ender pearls or uh, actually once we get rockets this would be a great refueling station for rockets it's just enough room to to get a 64 dropper set up going and so so this is this project complete let's uh let's uh, get our items sorted out here and i will grab our uh, what we need for the next project and i will meet you guys well i've edited the first uh project in uh post already and realized that we've only got a already had about 17 minutes worth of video time there on that so unfortunately we won't have time to get to all the projects we wanted to get into today but I do want to get this small project done and that's setting up a pumpkin and melon farm so we've only got five seeds so for now it's not going to be very big uh, but we can set down some type of foundation for uh, future dates so I think I'm going to come out here and I've already filled in some creeper holes over here with the intention of uh, using this land. So uh, the sun's going down. I'm going to have to go to sleep, but I can go ahead and let's come right here and we'll get our bucket out. And we can put our lily pad down. I'm going to run in and take a sleep. And I will see you back out here in the morning. All right, guys, it's morning again. We're headed back out here to our plot we're going to work on. And the first thing we probably should do is till some farmland. Now, should be enough for all that. One, two, three, four. this plot will be a little smaller than our others <clears throat> excuse me yeah this plot will be a little smaller than our carrot and potato and wheat farms but so we've only got five seeds so we need to figure out how it is we want to plant these so I know if we plant a pumpkin here it's gonna grow there 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 and there that's a melon seed excuse me so let's go ahead and bone mill this guy get him to full growth 
So what we're going to want to do is, in this case, since we planted a melon there, we're going to want to plant a pumpkin here. That way they can share these two spaces without getting in each other's way. So then there's another melon on this side. Yep. So possibly the pumpkin grows here and then it forces... Ooh, we already got a melon. Check that out. <laughs> Anyways, all this farmland is not going to remain farmland because once they grow, just like this one, and we'll, I'm going to use my shovel since it's silk touch. Get us some more seeds. So all the adjacent blocks to them like these will be... Um, dirt patches so all right so that's a melon so this is a pumpkin that's a melon so this is a pumpkin and that's how this farm is gonna work now I've got I'll have to break these down and get some melon slices and We'll need another melon here and another melon here. Let me break these guys. And a pumpkin here. This is this stock's not gonna have the rates because it doesn't have this as the rest do. Uh, but that's fine. pumpkin pumpkin melon so basically what ends up being is rows this whole row will be melons and this rows pumpkins so wow just that quick it's filled up so what I'm gonna attempt to do here is harvest all of these see if I can't get them all harvested and there be no pumpkins or melons in the farm and just kind of sit and do just a normal timed time lapse or time lapse it period and get a time for how long it took for them to grow and uh, maybe speed it up but let you know hey this is you know 30 seconds or 10 minutes or whichever so I'm going to try to do that right now, but as you can see, it's keeping me busy, just keeping them cut down. All right, ready, go.
Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like that's about all the time we have left for this episode. And I thank you for joining me. I hope that you have a, a great rest of your day. And we will see you next time. Goodbye.